A very warm word of welcome as we continue our spiritual reflections and today we celebrate the Feast of the Trinity that we believe as Christians that God expresses himself to us in the form of Trinity, God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So we try and enter into the spirit of that and reflect on that on this great feast day. Every prayer that we have is essentially Trinitarian because we pray to God through Jesus and in the Holy Spirit. The great spiritual guru Thomas Merton and the theologian Karl Rahner, they lead us in the direction that the definition of Trinity is really mercy within mercy within mercy. What a fantastic definition of Trinity that is. There is a sonnet on the Trinity and it runs as follows. In the beginning, not in time or space, but in the quick before both space and time, in life, in love, in co-inherent grace, in three in one and one in three, in rhyme, in music, in the whole creation story, in his own image, his imagination, the triune poet makes for us his glory and makes us each the other's inspiration. He calls us out of darkness, chaos, chance, to improvise a music of our own, to sing the chord that calls us to the dance, three notes resounding from one single tone, to sing the end in whom we all begin, our God beyond, behind us, and within. As we celebrate the Feast of Trinity, we pray, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.